Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Clubo. Today we will be making this clothespin princess angel Christmas ornament. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. The clothespin princess angel is a vintage variation of the fairy angel. It's made in uh, very much the same way, but I'm just using some vintage materials. So we'll start with a jelly roll strip and I have this little vintage blue trim. I like the blue, it reminds me of Cinderella and a little bit of Marie Antoinette. So that's why this project is a princess. So I'm going to apply this trim to the edge of the jelly roll strip. I'm not gonna fold it under or hem it or anything. I'm just gonna set the trim right on top. I'm not gonna try to put it off the edge. That's just way too much work. I'm just going to kind of set it right there and stitch down the entire strip and then I'll gather it up with my gathering attachment. Here's how it looks and I'm cutting this into uh, two and a half to three inch sections for the skirt. I've already prepared the clothespins with their little faces. And you can watch the um, clothespin fairy angel for a little bit uh, more of a detailed tutorial. This is just a little um, variation of that exact project. Now I'm gonna use the same trim and I'm going to create her bodice from the trim. I'll put a little bit of glue in the back center and then back center and then crisscross like an X, like this on the front, and then back around to the back. So the ends overlap in the back and I will cut it off and just kind of spot glue as I go. So I'll begin with a little bit of glue. I have my trusty glue gun here. A little bit of glue in the back center and then sort of crisscross in the front. Like that, I think I'll put a little bit of glue right there and then go back around to the back and cut it off and then glue that second end like this. And now I will add the skirt. I will put a little bit of glue in the center front right here and put the center of my gathered strip right here. I forgot to switch my machine from blue thread when I did the gathering, so I have a little line of blue thread, but it's all right. And then I'm going to glue this around to the back and I'll fold this over and overlap it like this so it kind of looks like a seam in the back. I'm sort of gluing that fold and then I'm going to overlap it and glue it to the back. Nice. Now I feel like I didn't um, provide enough instruction for the arms. This is just a strip of felt that I cut from a larger piece. This is a quarter of an inch and it's a little too thick. It's a little too wide. This is about an eighth of an inch and it may be a little too thin, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to cut about maybe three and a half or four inches from the strip. And then I'm going to put some glue in the center and then overlap the hands in the front like this and then just glue them to the front of the dress. They're raised a little bit at the shoulders and then they overlap on the front of the dress. And now I have some options. These are all little trims. Some of them are vintage, some of them are more modern, but these are typical of what you could find, you know, at your craft store or your fabric store or from your vintage dealer. Um, this one's cute, but I'm going to go with this one. It's the most interesting. 
it's just a little applique. It came on a strip like this. And I got it from a seller in my favorite vintage Facebook group. So I'll apply some glue to the back and just press that over the hands. So this is what she's holding, just a little flower. So I made these pom-poms with acrylic yarn and the 25 millimeter clover pom-pom maker. And I like this blonde color because it reminds me of Cinderella or <laughs> Marie Antoinette, but I have a couple of fun options. This is a bead cap and it's just gold. Um, I don't know, some kind of a lightweight metal and it's probably about half of an inch and this makes a really nice crown so that can be just glued into the hair or now this is fun i have these little bluebird beads these are from oriental trading but whenever i look for them today i didn't see them anymore on oriental trading but they do have something similar They're not very expensive. Just look for uh, glass, lampwork, bluebird beads. So I have a needle that is big enough to accommodate the um, ribbon, this 1 16th inch ribbon, but it's small enough that it goes through the bead, which is important, but I can't get both strands of ribbon through. So I have a little hack Take a generous length of ribbon, maybe two feet. And this is going to be the hanging loop. So tie it off about maybe four and a half inches down. So this is the hanging loop. And then put one piece. Now, sometimes maybe we could get both layers through the bead. You could try, but I don't want to break the bead. Ha ha, voice of experience. Yeah, I don't want to try to force that. And I know that one strand will go through just fine. So I'm going to stitch through the bead from the top. And then through the crown, the bead cap, like this, so that the bird is sitting in the crown or the cap like a little nest. And then I need the second um, strand to go through as well. And then, you can tell already how cute this is, right? But what is it for? That's right, it's gonna sit on top of her head. It's like Marie Antoinette and her kooky wigs. So I'm going to sew through the pom-pom and make sure I'm getting it through the center. And I'm going to pull those ribbon ends. There we go. And then I'm going to tie this off tightly so that the knot kind of disappears into the pom-pom, which is the wig or the hair. I'll cut that, that off. And I'm gonna glue this securely onto the top of her head. I don't mind if the bird is a little askew. I think that looks kind of cute. So I'm going to squeeze a generous amount of glue into the bottom of the pom-pom and then press this onto the head so that it's nice and secure. Would you look at that? Isn't that adorable? Okay, now she is an angel, so she needs wings. And I have some blue feathers that are just the right shade. 
Sometimes it's hard to get two feathers that match. And in fact, I think it's probably impossible to get two that match perfectly. But I tried to get two that were similar in length and I'm gonna cut uh, about an inch off these stems because I can tell they're way too long. So you see they're just sticking way too far. So I'm gonna trim about an inch off the bottoms. And then I'm gonna form a little X or a crisscross like this and then glue those on to the back. I just glue one at a time Kind of hold it to secure until that glue is really dry. Now this project, unlike the Fairy Angel, this one doesn't use any die cuts. So if you don't have a die cutting machine and you're just not ready to make that investment, this is the project for you because it's super cute. Although it is tempting for me <laughs> to add a little die cut right there just to cover up the ends of the feathers. I won't do that because I have pledged not to use any die cut. So I'll just use this little daisy. Check it out. We are done. The bird on the head. Are you dying? Isn't that the cutest? Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.